O Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouths mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Verses from Psalm 78. O Lord, how glorious are your works. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will pour forth mysteries from old, such as we have heard and known, which our forebears have told us. We will not hide from their children, but will recount to generations to come the praises of the Lord and his power, and the wonderful works he has done. He laid a solemn charge on Jacob, and made it a law in Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know, and the children yet unborn, that they in turn might tell it to their children so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God but keep his commandments and not to be like their forebears a stubborn and rebellious generation a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God the people of Ephraim armed with a bow turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done and the wonders he had shown them. For he did marvellous things in the sight of their forebears, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand still in a heap. He led them with a cloud by day, and all the night through with a blaze of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drink as from the great deep. He brought streams out of the rock, and made water gush out like rivers. Yet for all this they sinned more against him, and defied the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their hearts, and demanded food for their craving. They spoke against God and said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock indeed, so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. But can he give bread or provide meat for his people? 
When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and his anger went out against Israel. For they had no faith in God, and put no trust in his saving help. So he commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down upon them manna to eat, and gave them the grain of heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in plenty. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and led out the south wind by his might. He rained flesh upon them as thick as dust, and winged fowl like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp, and round about their tents. So they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they desired. But they did not stop their craving. Their food was still in their mouths, when the anger of God rose against them, and slew their strongest men, and felled the flower of Israel. But for all this they sinned yet more, and put no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath, and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him. They would repent and earnestly search for God. They remembered that God was their rock, and the Most High God, their Redeemer. Yet they did but flatter him with their mouth, and assembled with their tongue. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, neither were they faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their misdeeds, and did not destroy them. Many a time he turned back his wrath, and did not suffer his whole displeasure to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes by and does not return. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Let us pray. God, our Deliverer, as you led our ancestors through the wilderness, so lead us through the wilderness of this world, that we may be saved through Christ for ever. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Genesis, beginning at chapter 32, verse 3. Jacob sent messengers before him to his brother Esau in the land of Seir, the country of Edom, instructing them, Thus you shall say to my lord Esau, Thus says your servant Jacob, I have lived with Laban as an alien and stayed until now, and I have oxen, donkeys, frogs, male and female slaves, and I have sent to tell my lord in order that I may find favour in your sight. The messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and he is coming to meet you, and four hundred men are with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that were with him, and the flocks and herds and camels, into two companies, thinking, If Esau comes to one company and destroys it, then the company that is left will escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham and God of my father Isaac, O Lord who said to me, Return to your country and to your kindred, and I will do you good. I am not worthy of the least of all the steadfast love and all the faithfulness that you have shown to your servant. For with only my staff I crossed this Jordan, and now I have become two companies. Deliver me, please, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I am afraid of him. You may come and kill us all, the mothers with the children. Yet you have said, 
I surely will do you good and make your offspring as the land of the sea, which cannot be counted because of their number. So he spent that night there. And from what he had with him, he took a present for his brother Esau, 200 female goats and 20 male goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 milk camels and their colts, 40 cows and 10 bulls, 20 male donkeys and 10 male donkeys. These he delivered into the hand of his servants, each drove by itself and said to his servants, Pass on ahead of me and put a space between drove and drove. He instructed the foremost, When Esau, my brother, meets you and asks you, To whom do you belong? Where are you going? And whose are these ahead of you? Then you shall say, They belong to your servant Jacob. They are presents sent to my lord Esau. And moreover, he is behind us. He likewise instructed the second and the third and all who followed the droves. You shall say the same thing to Esau when you meet him. And you shall say, Moreover, your servant Jacob is behind us. For he thought, I may appease him with the present that goes ahead of me, and afterwards I shall see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. So the present passed on ahead of him, and he himself spent that night in the camp. The same night he got up and took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. And the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans, and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved.
second reading is from the letter of Paul to Titus, beginning at chapter 2, verse 1. But as for you, teach what is consistent with sound doctrine. Tell the older men to be temperate, serious, prudent, and sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Likewise, tell the older women to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink. They are to teach what is good, so that they may encourage the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be self-controlled, chaste, good managers of the household, kind, being submissive to their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the younger men to be self-controlled. Show yourself in all respects a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censured. Then any opponent will be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. Tell slaves to be submissive to their masters and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to answer back, not to pilfer, but to show complete and perfect fidelity, so that in everything they may be an ornament to the doctrine of God our Saviour. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one look down on you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us pray to the Father. This morning and every morning, the Church invites us to spend time holding before God the day and its tasks. 
the world and its needs, the church and her life. And in our cycle of intercession, we are encouraged to pray today especially for local government and community leaders, for all who provide local services, for those who work with young or elderly people, for schools, colleges and universities, for emergency and rescue organisations. Teach us, O Lord, the way of your statutes and lead us in the path of your commandments. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and truth. O Lord, deal graciously with your servants. Teach us discernment and knowledge. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide the meek in judgment, and teach your ways to the gentle. Lord, remember your people, whom you have purchased and redeemed of old. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.